Welcome to Eek and Echo. On this page, we share the supernatural world and all things strange and unusual. As a psychic medium and artist, I have kept many little black books where I have recreated, recorded, and worked through some of the spookiest moments of my life. Legend has it that ghosts are often associated with unexplained movements of objects in a home. There are many theories as to why ghosts might move objects in our homes, but the most common belief is that they are trying to communicate with us. One theory suggests that ghosts move objects to get our attention, especially if they are trying to tell us something important. It is believed that when a ghost has a message to convey, they may try to communicate through moving objects to grab our attention. Another theory suggests that ghosts might move objects as a way to manipulate the physical world around them. It is believed that spirits may not have a physical form, and moving objects allows them to exert their presence on the physical world. Some people also believe that ghosts may move objects as a way to express their frustration or anger. For example, if a ghost is unhappy with the way things are being done in the home, they might move objects as a way to express their displeasure. Regardless of the reason behind it, the common belief is that when objects move on their own, it is a sign of a ghostly presence in the home. Many people who have experienced this phenomenon believe that it is a way for spirits to communicate with the living and that we should pay attention to the messages they are trying to convey. In early January, I came home alone one night to a strange sight. As I flicked on the lights, something caught my eye. My small taxidermy duck, Jolene, was sitting in the middle of the living room floor. At first, I thought nothing of it. Maybe the cats had knocked her over? Not likely as she sits high up on a cupboard hard to access, and on a surface, taken up with other small treasures. With no space for little paws to step and nothing out of place, I sent my husband a photo, asking if he had placed her there. He denied it and knows better than to play ghostly tricks on me, real ghosts are bad enough. Perhaps she had fallen, but as I approached her, I realized that she was sitting up and still in perfect condition. Confused, I searched for any signs of what could have caused Jolene's strange placement. No moss or feathers were missing, a fall that far would have caused the object to lose some of its handmade integrity. I couldn't explain how else Jolene could have ended up on the floor in such an odd position. It was almost as if someone, or something, had carefully placed her there. It's strange when spirits move objects in your personal space. It feels intrusive, and from my experience is usually a more desperate act indicating someone wants your attention or is trying to give an important message. While this winter has been particularly more active, I still have not been able to pinpoint who or why the little duckling was moved so dramatically, but I might never look at Jolene the same way.